Hello, my name is Jessica Shipp. I'm a nurse and I am in the master's program of holistic nurse coaching at Pacific College and I'm in my second year. I chose um, holistic nursing because I came from a background of critical care and I um, was in the military for majority of my adult life and um, from my experiences that I had as a critical care nurse and being in the military, um, a lot of them were traumatic. I deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan and um, and then plus just being in critical care, it's a lot of, it, it, it eventually can wear on someone mentally and physically and spiritually. And so I began my own healing journey. And through that, I discovered um, that Pacific had this program, and so I wanted to sign up as soon as I could, and that's how I began my journey with holistic nursing. I like being part of the Pacific College community because I have met many nurses across the United States that I wouldn't have been able to meet. I'm in their online program, and this has helped with learning new modalities and just hearing about other nurses' experiences and it's a way to um, connect and bond with other nurses as well. Holistic nursing means going back to the roots, like going back to the roots of health, um, living, I guess, more of, depending on you know, mother nature for, for one's health. Um, it, it also means encompassing the entire person, not just trying to heal, you know, pain, but kind of figuring out where that pain came from and how to target it from different areas, such as like um, a mental perspective or a spiritual sp perspective of managing like pain, um, not just, you know, taking a pill for it, but kind of, you know, going more deeper into um, more healing. The holistic nursing program has already in, actually involved, uh, evolved my practice with um, patient care because um, before I would just you know, do the task pretty much. Um, and, and now it gives me a more perspective of um, reaching people, not just on you know, a superficial level, but more on a deeper level. Um, because we all need connection, and I believe connection helps with healing. After graduation, I plan to continue my education. I'm actually in a uh, nurse practitioner program right now on top of doing this master's program. Um, and I, my plan is to integrate um, both, uh, you know, like our Western medicine and then some Eastern medicine practices. Um, I, I really see that more people are going to look for um, alternative or complementary therapies when it comes to healthcare, and um, are looking for preventative, you know, kind of methods. And I want to be well versed in a lot of um, holistic type therapies and be able to help my patients in those manner. In that manner, um, I'd, I'd love to get in to do like integrative. Um, nursing practice and, um, you know, and throw in a few things here and there as far as holistic modalities. Um, like I want to learn to do acupuncture um, and already am a yoga instructor. Um, I'm looking at wanting to become certified in aromatherapy. Um, so those are just a few of the things. I'd like to start my own business or my own clinic. Um, so I have, a, I have a long list, <laughs> but uh, those are some of my goals. Three fun facts you may not know about me. Well, one, I already told you I was in the military, so I guess that's not a fact uh, or one you don't know. Um, I have two Great Danes. Um, I'm about five, two and a half. I usually say I'm five, three. On paper, but <laughs> I'm about five two and a half, so these dogs are bigger than me. Um, I love to garden, so I've been growing 
lot of my own vegetables in the summertime, and I've learned how to do canning or pressure canning um, to save a lot of that. Um, so I guess that's probably about three three fun facts. When I am when I'm not online at Pacific College, you can find me either working in my garden, doing yard work, playing with my Great Danes. I've got rabbits, so I play with my bunnies. Um, I have three children, so I'm kind of busy with them as well. Or maybe traveling or visiting family. Advice that I would give to other students in Pacific College um, and actually to other nurses who are interested in learning more, um, becoming kind of more of a holistic approach or taking a more of a holistic approach is to check out the college. I mean, it's got some great programs. Um, I mean, I have I've enjoyed the connections that I've made uh, with my classmates and learning from my teachers as well. Um, yeah, so I always like always keep learning. There's always something new to learn, especially with nursing and with healthcare. Um, I, I I have felt more welcome from in in this community uh, with the other nurses who are pursuing the you know the same with holistic nurse coach. I felt more welcome in this community than I have in other nursing communities, and um, and I say that because uh, most of my adult life was in the military. So I went straight from nursing school, graduated, uh, went right into the Air Force, and so I, that was my adult life. That was a culture that I knew and the training that I had. And when I got out of the military, um, I really had a hard time adjusting. Like adjusting to fitting in um, in the civilian environment and in, in the civilian workforce with other nurses. And, um, but I wanted to say that I, I felt really welcome in this community and um, everyone has been very supportive. And uh, so I would just, you know, encourage any, any nurse that wants to go back to school, it doesn't matter how old you are, I'm 46, <laughs> a little bit older than what I wanted to be. And I know life experiences happen and may keep you from pursuing some of your goals, but don't give up, keep, keep dreaming and, and keep reaching for them. Um, you know, eventually it, it may not be exactly what you wanted, but if you keep reaching, then, you know, you'll get, get to a better place than where you were before.